What's up guys? I'm Antonio. Welcome back to the Business Download of Clean Energy's EV wrap up. This week we'll be highlighting some cars with grills, floating EVs, and battery swapping. What could that be? Before we get started, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button below and leave a comment on your favorite story. All right, without further ado, let's get started. So this might just be a me thing, but I always hear people around my grandma's age saying things that sound kind of goofy. Like my grandma would tell me to get her something out of the ice box or pass the clicker so that we can turn on the television. I keep thinking of words that I use today that'll join the obsolete graveyard and gas station or convenience store are definitely in the running. As the world transitions towards a cleaner transit, the major reason people go to gas stations will slowly disappear. For gas, right? Well, 7-Eleven is thinking long-term and looking to capture the growing market of EV drivers. On Tuesday, 7-Eleven announced that they will have 500 DC fast charging ports installed at its locations around the country by the end of 2022. This is great because most of their stores are already located near highways and busy roads. So thanks to them, we can use the word convenience store for a little longer. As far as gas stations go, it might turn into charging stations or something. Battery swapping. Is it as straightforward as it sounds? Well, yes it is thanks to San Francisco-based Ample. For specific EVs, they have removed stock batteries and instead equipped their technology, allowing for smaller batteries to be inserted into the vehicle. The process is pretty cool, actually. It's basically you just pull up to a battery swapping station, almost like tracks in a car wash. Then the car is levitated off the ground so that a robotic arm can swap out the depleted battery underneath. As I've talked about before, EV batteries can weigh up to two tons, but Ample uses smaller batteries to make the swapping process safer and easier. This concept isn't a new one. It's actually been around for a couple of years, first in Israel, then Denmark and China but has grown and made its way right here to the US. Ample works with a few fleet companies, but one of its most popular partners is Uber. Uber drivers in San Francisco will be able to rent EVs equipped with Ample's technology and use one of the five swapping stations in the Bay Area. These charging stations only take up two parking spots at your local grocery store, so you may hear more about these as uh, the EV infrastructure continues to evolve. Many EVs are modeled after the first major manufacturer to mass produce them, Tesla. You know, with the big iPad-like screens, the sleek aerodynamic look to the vehicle, and a futuristic feeling interior. Well, BMW has taken the path less chosen and used its signature kidney-shaped grille for their i4 sedan and iX SUV. The thing is, they made the grille much bigger than the traditional Beamers, and for what reason? There's no engine sitting behind them, there's no radiator sucking in there, making them pretty useless mechanically. But it has a classic British 50s feel, almost like the one Corella drives. BMW said that this is the biggest differentiator between them and their competitors, which is every company these days. But Hummer, which we covered in the past videos, have also come out with a nostalgic look. They brought back their classic seven-slotted grille, also adding Hummer, just in case you didn't realize what you were looking at by the huge body. For the most recent model, you can kind of have to squint, but you can see the seven slots. And I'm glad EV manufacturers are realizing customers are looking for something special. EVs are hitting the waves. Super yacht designers Carlo Nuvolari and Dan Leonard have a reputation for creating some of the most beautiful signature yachts on water. Jerry Jones, Dallas Cowboy owner, has one of them, 375 foot long Bravo Eugenia. We got the 456 foot long warship wearing a tuxedo, and of course, the 350 foot long Black Pearl. No, the other Black Pearl. The Leonard saw the direction the world was headed and decided to bring sustainability to the yacht world. Or should I say the super yacht world? Leonard just unveiled the Vento, a 318 foot long sustainable yacht. This is actually a sailing yacht using sailing power and technology to steer the vessel. Apart from its back to the basics mechanisms, the yacht will feature six double cabins, four of them VIP and one of them super VIP. A huge outdoor space, a spa, a beach, a club, a flybridge. Uh, now you know where the word super comes in. Obviously, we have to save the best spot for last. This week's hotspot goes to Rolls Royce, the pinnacle of luxury. It is confirmed that they are working on a new EV that will be dubbed the Silent Shadow. The name is a nod to the Silver Shadow model sold from 1965 to 1980. If you think about it, Rolls Royce isn't really known for loud and roary engines, so electrification fits right in the playbook. The name in the car itself isn't the only thing being silent. No exact release dates or specs have been released, but as the nations start to phase out combustion engines, especially the UK, Rolls Royce is planning to adapt for the future. Anyway, that's all we have for you this week on the weekly wrap up. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.